Okay, hi girls. So, in this video, we're going to talk to you about your Year 10 Romantic Composer Assessment Task. And Ms. McEwen and I are going to take you through it and explain the whole task and um, basically give you this little video so that you have everything that you need to know about this particular task. At times, we're going to refer to the music analysis uh, part of it, and we're going to do that in a separate video where we're going to analyse uh, the song for release or the piece of music for release and we'll, we'll give you some more examples of the types of things that you need to do for music analysis but in this video it's all about getting an understanding of all the things that the task requires. So first of all, how are you Ms McEwen? I'm good thanks Mr. Rio, how are you? Today? Very good, are you ready to get right into this? I'm ready to get right into it. Let's do it. So, your Year 10 assessment task, we're going to put this on Google Drive for you um, and the task effectively is prepare and present a five minute talk on a selected composer from the romantic period. In class, Miss and I are going to assign you a composer uh, and that's a composer that you need to stick to. If you want to swap composers, you need to find someone else in the class and negotiate with them and if they're happy to swap, then come and tell us. But basically, you're all starting from the same level playing field so that um, whatever composer will give you, that's the one that you need to work on. And you need to do a presentation. The presentation needs to include a few things. The first one is a biography of your composer, which is basically talking uh, information about the composer. Yep. Maybe where they live. Yeah, what year they were born, when yep. they died, yep. maybe you influenced them. Yeah, ex ex yep. excellent. Yep. So, Other uh, compositions that they might have written. Yep. yep. Uh, and really importantly, if those types of things are important to that composer, like if they were influenced because they had a father or a mum that was also a musician, that yeah. might have something to do with them. So give that information. We don't really need to know what type of clothes they wore no. unless it's something that's relevant to the yeah. composition. Yeah. Um, and importantly, you also need a detailed musical score analysis of one of their, um, of one of their pieces and a listening example. So effectively, you need the biography yep. uh, of the composer, you need the score, which is the music notation. Yeah, so the actual music notation. The actual music yeah. notation that you need to use as part of your presentation and um, the, the listening, listening example. Part. And yeah. we'll show you how to get all of that in a moment. So your assignment has a bunch of composers. And as we said, Miss and I are going to assign one of them for you. And once you've got that, the assignment takes you through all the steps that you need to do. So, so just before you go on, sure. I, I've got a bigger class than you. Yep. Yeah. So I, some, some of my girls might double up on a composer. Yep. So we'll need to work together to make sure that they don't pick the same piece of music to Exactly. Analyze. And that's the only thing. So that if you've got, um, let's say we've got Claude Debussy here. So let's say two people have got Claude Debussy. Um, that's okay. Yeah. As long as the teacher has assigned that to you. And the other thing is that you need to do a different piece of music. Piece of music. You can't do yeah. the exact same piece of music. Yep. Yeah. So... Uh, step two in the task after you've got your composer is to create a short biography. And this is the easy part of yeah. the task. Uh, Mrs. already mentioned, you look at things like when, when, when and where they were born and when they died, um, how they started their musical journey, basically any types of things that might be relevant to the talk and gives us an insight. You need to assume that everyone in the class knows nothing about your particular composer mm -hmm. and you're telling them about that person for the first time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, the next step after that, once you've done this biography part, is you choose one musical work that you're going to analyze. And as we said, you need to get the musical score mm -hmm. and you need to uh, get a recording of it. Because all of these composers lived and died in the 19th century, a lot of their music, or basically all of their music, is out of what we call copyright. Yeah. So it's become freely available on the internet, and it's so you quite don't have to easy. Anything. In yeah, in a lot of cases, you probably won't have to purchase anything. And if you're stuck, just come and find us, mm. and we will help you. But a really good site, um, in order to help you get your copy of the musical score, is this fantastic website called imslp.org, which stands for International Music Score Library Project. And what basically has happened is that a bunch of researchers and from universities and so on have started scanning in the music that all of these composers wrote. Right. So, for example, if I go to Chrome or Safari or whichever, um, and I go to International Music Score Library Project.org, uh, hopefully I've got my thing on. Yeah, Here we go. So we come to the site, 
and it's fantastic in terms of it has so many different uh, composers. So we looked at the Bussy as our yeah, example. So, yeah. so let's see if we simply put him in. He wrote a lot of piano music, so we might find a piano score. Yeah. What you'll probably find, here's a category, um, it looks like a simple Google search, but it's actually going through the website. Right. Um, so let's have a look. And here we've got uh, a content of all the different types of works that he's got, a list of his sheet music, and have a look at this. This is all wow. the different types of music that the Bussy wrote. So obviously a very yes. prolific writer. Yeah. I'm just going to pick three ballads, the Francois Villon. Okay. And let's see what comes up. So on that page... You can see that it's got examples of the sheet music that you can download. Uh, and some of them are actual scans of the original music, right. and some of them are more digitized versions. Some, some are clearer scores. than others, then. Yep, so yeah, you might have to check. Pick a nice clear one. Pick yeah. a clear one, you might have to check them. But effectively, you click on it, um, and it will give you the option of downloading. Because this is a voluntary website, in order to maintain it, they're asking for donations. You don't have to donate, you just have to wait for that message to go past. Okay. Unless you're feeling very generous, in which case by all means donate as much as you want to them. But you can get your piece of music from here. Uh, a lot of these I notice as well have got the recording of it, so you can uh, find examples of the recording over here, and it usually has like a link to buy it. But even beyond yeah. that, go to YouTube, because yeah. there are so many uh, people people that have played these pieces of music that you'll easily find it. Yeah. Check that the piece of music that you've downloaded is the same as the recording so that you've got the same piece of music. Yeah, and maybe use us if you're unsure. Absolutely, yeah. Come and check with us. And an easy way to do that is open up the music, press play, follow the music and see if it looks like uh, yeah. what's happening there. Um, so make sure that you do that. Once you've got your score and your recording, you can start doing a musical analysis. This is the part that will take you the most amount of time. This is the part that you can't Google for and get the answers just off the internet. This is the part where you will need to do the, the hard yards in terms of getting the marks for the assignment. You need to use the concepts of music. And Miss, can you just quickly tell us about some of the things um, that they might talk about with the concepts yeah, of music? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we just revised these yesterday in class. Fantastic. So uh, the first concept is duration. So that's yeah. where you might talk about the time signature. Uh, the notes and the note values and different rhythmic features that might be happening uh, within the piece. Yep. Um, and then we have pitch and that's where you talk about the relative highness and lowness of notes and the melodies and the shapes of melodies and phrases and things like that. Yep. Uh, we have tone colours, so this is where you um, just, I always get my girls to shut their eyes and listen to the music and, and try and describe what's happening in the music. So come up with some adjectives and yep. really good describing words. Yep. Then we have texture, and we've talked about texture because prevalent in the Romantic period is the homophonic texture, mm -hmm. which is where there's a main melody and then harmony underneath, so find that in your score and highlight it. Then we have structure, which is how it's all put together. So words that we're familiar with are words like chorus, verse, yep. bridge, but back in those days, words like binary, ternary, rondo, yep. things like that. And even um, a simplified version of that is just saying section A, exactly, section sections. B, we section C. Exactly, sections, we talked about that. Just in sections is a good way to talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm missing one. Dynamics, Dynamics and expressive and techniques. Like, yes, yeah. so um, how loud or soft the music is and different ways they might be playing. There might be some little pretty accidental notes that they're playing, mm. which you'll see in your music. Musical like features, that. decorations. Yeah, that kind of decorations, stuff. yeah. yeah. Um, so that is a really quick summary of the concepts of music. And in class, we'll go into more detail and flesh all of that out so you've got a deeper understanding of it. So for your analysis, you've got your score, you've got your recording. Find out some things about the concepts of music and how it relates to your uh, score and your piece of music. You do a score analysis. And again, we're going to give you an example of this uh, in the next video, which is where we're going to analyse for release, you look at the musical themes and motifs, yes. so the musical ideas. Another way of thinking of this is in pop music you have riffs and ostinato patterns. Yeah. Um, so think of what are the things that repeat or what are the things that keep coming up. And also the use of instruments in your example. Once you've got all of that, you've got your biographical information, you've got your recording, you've got your score, you've done your musical analysis, then start putting it together as a presentation. Yes. You have five minutes, and as a rough guideline, you don't have to stick to this exactly, but it's, a, it's an outline. You need to introduce who your composer is and give us a little bit of biographical information. Yep. Because that's relatively easy, any of these composers have 
a lot of information about them, so simply Googling them is going to give you heaps more than you actually need. You'll probably have more information, you need to squish it down into about a minute or two. Yeah. You play approximately 30 seconds of their example, and you can either play it straight away, or you can play five seconds here and five seconds there and explain it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then, the most amount of your talk, at least half, should be on the musical analysis with the score. Yeah. Use Google uh, Slides, I think, or Google Presentations, or Google I Slides. Google I think it's Google Slides. If yeah. you go to the apps, it comes up yeah. as Google Slides. But I think we so sometimes re refer to it as Google Presentations. I think it used it's, to be Google yeah, Presentations. Yeah, it, it's referred to both ways. Yeah. So Google Slides, and make sure you share it with us. Yeah. So as soon as you set it up, you're about to say that, yeah. make sure you share it with, with us. Yeah. And then start putting together slides that represent what you need to do. One of the things that you might do as well is do um, score annotations. So like take little screenshots um, mm -hmm. of the section of the score. And let me just give you a quick example. So let's say that uh, I bring up the example of fur release that we've got over here. Oops, where is it? Fur release, there it is. And let's say that I want to highlight this little section. Mm -hmm. The way I can do this is that if I press Shift, Command and 4, it actually takes a photo of the little part of the screen. So over here, let's say I do that. So shift, command, and four. Shift, command, and four. Excellent. On the Macs, this only works on the on Macs. Macs yeah. On the PCs, it's slightly yeah. different, yeah. and I can't remember off the top of my head. But what it's done, it's taken a photo of that and put it on my desktop. So if I all of a sudden hide everything and I go to my desktop somewhere, over here somewhere, you'll yeah. see a screenshot. Whoops, let me hide that just of that little bit, it's basically a photo. You can now cut and paste or drag that into Google presentations, yeah. draw arrows, do all that kind of stuff to create a really good looking uh, slide for your presentation. Excellent. And um, what was the last bit? Bibliography, I think. There it is there. So, oh no, really importantly girls, uh, practice. You have to practice your presentation. You need to put a stopwatch on and you need to see how long you're talking for all of this sort of stuff. Talk in front of your teachers, practice in front of your parents. Get your laptop, plug it into the projectors and see what it looks like. Make sure that when you do your presentation, you've practiced it enough times that you feel confident talking in front of the class. Yes. And if that's a problem, come and see me or myself so that we can help you build that confidence. Don't just leave it for the day. Mm -hmm. All right. We really quickly mentioned the bibliography, refer to your student handbook. So your last slide should be, where did I get my stuff from? Yes. Uh, including where you got your score from. And don't just put International Music School Library Project, put the actual link that you got that from. Yeah. If it's a YouTube clip, don't just say YouTube, put the actual link that you yeah. got it from. Um, and to hand in your presentation, we're going to let you know uh, in class when you need to hand it in, but the first part is going to be to hand in your assignment via Google presentation. And that way, Miss and I have got everyone's assignments in the one yeah. place. And then the second date is going to be when we actually start your presentations. We're going to randomly assign a name. If you really want to go first, let us know. We'll put you up first, and that's perfectly okay. Yeah. Do you think we've covered everything there, Miss? I think so, sir. And that's about week nine, I think, of term that Yeah, it's do. towards the yeah, end. Yeah, we'll the confirm end, it in so class for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, that, girls, is basically the task. The other thing that I'll draw your attention to is how you get marked. So, speaking confidently, cor correct pronunciation of your names, because this shows that you've um, done the research, and that you present to the class and not read everything on the screen, that gives you three marks. The slides, make sure that they're easy to follow. Make sure that you don't need a telescope or a microscope to look at the test because it's so small or large. Make sure it's clear and easy. Um, have your biography, uh, the, the information about the artist, your listening example is a very small component because you just press play, so it's yeah. fairly easy. easy. But the musical analysis, six marks, girls. Yeah. Spelling and punctuation, three marks. Make sure it gets proofread. And it's a five-minute um, time limit. Yeah. We will uh, allow you to go slightly past the five minutes, but if you get to five minutes and 30 seconds, we take off a mark. If you get uh, to six minutes, we take off two marks. If it's six minutes thirty, we take off three marks. And if you go on forever, we'll probably pull <laughs> you off stage. But at some point, you just run out of marks. Yes. All right. So during the presentations, we'll probably have a triangle or something, and we'll ding yeah, at the five-minute mark yeah, time and let you know when your time's up. All of that you should practice during your presentation, uh, in the lead up to it. So that covers all of the components. Really quickly, I had a quick mind map that might. Uh, 
just uh, clarify a few things. So if you think of how to structure your presentation, the first part is introduce the topic, and the types of things that you might do is biographical information about them, where they live, have a picture or a photo or something to let us know about them. Um, the next part that you need is the listening example over here. Uh, the next part is a musical analysis, and if you break this up, we said that you need about two and a half minutes for your musical analysis. If we break that up into thing number one that you talk about, so let's say your first point is dynamics and you talk for 30 seconds about that. So you might talk about it, you might show it on the score, take you 30 seconds. And then point two might be the time signature, point three, point four. If each of these are worth 30 seconds each, that's already two minutes of your presentation. So you don't actually need probably more than five major points to come up with all the information you need for your musical analysis. Yeah, so just pick the most important ones. Pick yeah. the most important ones, yeah. yeah. Of those concepts. Yeah. yeah. Um, you'll find that you'll have more information that you need and you have to pick the ones that give the best value and show the deeper understanding of your assignment. Yeah. And then finally, your conclusion. So they are the things that you need for your presentation. Great. Come and watch the next video. We'll talk about fur release and the analysis and the types of musical things that you can talk to. See you then. See you then. Bye. Bye.